fashion that it's, uh, there's a lot of men around. And that's changing. Um, in a lot of roles, a lot of things, people being hired in front offices, um, women coaching, I'm sure you've seen women as analysts and doing play. Uh, when Sarah and I can share the table. So what I do a little bit more, um, like you see Damari on the basketball court. Everything else that's going on besides the actual game and the entertainment, the music, um, the on-court contest, the dancers, I'm on a headset, like two seats down from Sarah at the scores table, telling everyone what to do, essentially, and being a boss down. And my question is, when did you start playing basketball? So when I became a senior in high school, I knew I wanted to go to college and play, so I explored that and I went to college. When I got ready to graduate from college, I had to make the decision, do I want to go back to Kentucky and get a job, or do I want to continue playing? So I decided I wanted to continue playing, and that's when I had to go to Europe. And so by playing in Europe, then it evolved into the WNBA. So I've kind of just been that person to kind of live a little bit and kind of get a feel of what I like. And so now that I no longer play, I'm constantly evolving, and we all constantly evolve. I played the cello and the viola, um, and then around sixth grade, I grew about five or six inches and ended up taller than everyone else. And people started saying that I should play basketball. And I was like, no, 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 I still want to play my cello. And by the time I got to high school, I started to seriously consider it and get serious about it. Um, there were some coaches you know, who saw how tall I was and saw the potential and invested their time in me. And that's kind of how I grew to like and then eventually love. Also what made me continue to play basketball was finding out that I could go to school for free. That was a big motivator. Can we clap up for that? I feel so humbled um, to be able to take part in this event, um, to moderate a lot of it, to, to run around and 
uh, just work with the girls on the court, but also just the big picture of what Damari Carroll and the Carroll Family Foundation has tried to do. And this camp in particular is something that hits close to my heart because I was a young girl, grew up playing basketball. And so a credit to him and for what he's doing with his foundation um, all the time throughout the year, but especially this event. It's really impacting and changing the lives of young girls here in the New York area. Participating in this event today has been so fulfilling. I love speaking to girls and empowering girls and women. I know that self-esteem has been one of the things that I've struggled with off and on throughout my life because I grew up taller than everyone. And so it wasn't until sports kind of touched and impacted my life did I kind of understand who I was. And it gave me that great sense of esteem and that great sense of accomplishment. And it really helped me to realize gosh, I can do it if I really put my mind to it and work at it. So, you know, being a part of today, I, I just feel so proud and so honored that I could give back and to be here. Coach Gigi, they put the girls to a beautiful workout and you know, the different things that we're talking about um, with how they came to be a success and that the hard work they had to put in um, lets the girls know that, you know, they can achieve these things, but they still have to do the work. It's like a good um, experience, like, basic training for girls who like don't get a chance to do training or can't afford them and stay it's like a nice thing. Like meet like people that have like been there and like doing what, like you like hope to do. I mean like like seeing people that like can get you there. Well I played basketball. I learned how to throw higher. I must say this is absolutely amazing, way above our expectation. It was organized just perfectly. The different kind of games, the different activities, the encouragement. Even snacks and goodie bags, uh, I felt the kids learned a lot. It was very engaging. She was very, very happy the whole day from what I observed.